Ready? Ja, sure. Oh, Ex 2021! Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Sammy here. Today, my friend is Simi. <laughs> hey, Simi, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, sure. I'm Simi. I'm Brazilian YouTuber. Thank Take you. a YouTuber, yeah, please. <laughs> Please subscribe in both our channels. We will bring it very, very interesting tech for you guys. Exactly. So today, my friend Simi and I are going to the headquarters of Oppo to hands on the Oppo X 2021. You know, a couple months ago, we released a few videos about it and it has got a huge amount of views, but we personally never have a chance to get our hands on the Oppo X 2021. And today, the dream, uh, today the dream come true yeah. and this is not a normal video as i brought a sheet of questions which are from the comments you have left under my videos like what about the selfie camera what about the phone case what if it accidentally opened in my pocket and people called the police well we'll find all that out in this video this is the world's first rollable phone Oppo X 2021. There are only five uh, Oppo X 2021 in this world and one of them is in my hand. So first things first of course is about the specs. So uh, what about the screen specs, the camera specs, you know what the chipset. As Oppo told me they are unclear. You know? So what do you see from uh, the internet like the uh, this, uh, the, the camera has 16 megapixel, blah, blah, blah. Those are all fake. We have no idea. No one knows, okay? Now, what about the selfie camera? All right, the selfie camera is still unknown and current, currently there is no solution for it. Let's talk about the screen protector or the phone case. <laughs> well, maybe manufacturers will come up with an idea or maybe the phone case or the screen protector is you know rollable too right <laughs> next we are gonna talk about the durability that's one thing you make care just as i confirmed with the official oppo it can be rolled for more than 100,000 times and also you can see the corner here uh really well protected so if you drop it will not damage the screen directly. <laughs> so uh, if you locked and put to the pocket, then no matter what you do what, like bubble tap or something, it won't you know, open it. It won't expand in your pocket. But if you unlock and put it in your pocket, and it will be expand if you uh, double tap that. I'm not sure if you can see it here. You see, it struggles. It struggles like this, but it finally it will, you know, expand fully. So this is what happening if you uh, try to open it in your pocket. Okay, so when you uh, force to, you know, squeeze it. To, to close it, how it will uh, respond. So I'm doing it, all right? Do it, do it, do it. Uh, I see. So when you try to squeeze, instead of you know double tap the power button, it will you know close automatically, and that's it. All right. So this is kind of um, protective mechanism. But please don't do that. If you force to close, you will see the UI didn't uh, adapt accordingly. You see UI, some UI is here. And the Oppo told me uh, that I kind of action will damage the motor inside this machine. So don't do that, okay? okay. So the next question is, can I use the phone at any size or length? And how could the UI adapts? Uh, that question is, yeah, Oppo claims that you can choose the size between uh, 6.7 inch to 7.4 inch but currently <laughs> they're still developing it so i just cannot show you if you're wondering how uh, the ui adapts here is it you just double type and the ui just squeeze a little bit and then when you expand the ui will just uh, you know expand
is the kind I prefer. <laughs> Okay. So the next question is, is the noise when it's rolling? Can you hear it? Where it have the pain? Currently, they don't have a plan for that. But let me think where they can put a pain. Maybe a hole here. Maybe here. There's no place for the pain. Sorry, guys. The last question you may have is the price and the availability. And also, does this include a charger? <laughs> it's not clear because we don't know the specs. Uh, what kind of uh, camera, what kind of uh, screen specs, you know, uh, that kind of thing too, so the price is unclear. But if it's uh, finally officially released, they will try to uh, add everything a flagship should have, like the best camera, the best screen, you know, the best chipset, you know, this kind of thing. But currently, they just don't know about the price and the availability. But yeah, it's all about the concept, right? It's all about the courage, the spirit Oppo you know, has presented to us. So big thumbs up for Oppo. All right, that's the video. I hope it has helped you in some way. What do you think about the Oppo X2021? Is it the future or is it better than a photo phone? Please let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click right here to subscribe. I'm Sammy. See you in the next one. Okay. Thank you.